Hey, rumor has it that Big Brother will be expecting his first grandchild in the Big Brother Niger house. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky. Thanks so much for clicking on this video to watch you guys. The Big Brother Niger house has been something else. But yeah, I've not been able to come up to, you know, to make a video because I've been super, super busy and I've not been keeping up for the past three days now. But I'm sorry guys, I, 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 I needed to do what I need to do because I'm preparing for my dad's burial. It's been a tough time this period for me anyway guys last night the housemates were enjoying themselves in the pool party and you guys trust wani to be able to eat up sean i guess that the wani and the sean duo or the wani ex andy and sean i feel like wani just came into the house you know dived into the the relationship with sean and she has been having a feel of it she has been having the fun of her life because she doesn't miss any opportunity to actually suck sean's mouth you guys she has been having a certain time in big brother niger house and to be really honest at some point you always see that her sister and handy they are behind handy will always be in the mix of them and they just give a vibe like if you marry the one of them they will use one of them put jara for you or something like that because they are always like three in a relationship or in the relationship i think the relationship between she and sean has been between she her twin sister and sean and sometimes it's weird to me because i do not understand i don't know if it's just me but i don't know what do you guys think just leave it in the comment section and after the pool party the housemates they played the game and in that game they were just they they wanted to ask me your fruit they asked not wanted to they asked me your fruit how the three ladies you like most in the house and he mentioned ruthie he mentioned nelly mind you you know that mayor frosh has always said it to ruthie that he prefers nelly or he likes nelly and and um, ruthie has always of the uh, was always of the opinion that she doesn't want to be a second choice or she does not want to be the kind of you know person that will come in the middle if nelly is the person you're feeling or if nelly is the person you want go for her i do not want to be a second choice and i'm sure that for the longest time that hasn't sit well the relationship has not really sat well with that and i'm sure she's doing it based on the fact that they are in the house because to be really honest even the mayor fresh is not into into her like in my own opinion i don't know whatever you watch and you conclude i just told you what i'm watching and i'm concluding because i feel like there is some Somebody he has a better eyes on you guess there's something somebody who would have been more interested in well unfortunately the person is with Suj and she and he is left with no other option than to be with the Ruthie girl and she knowing this fact is really pissing her off or is really not making her flow in the relationship as much as she would have loved to because of course no girl wants to be a second option you understand anyway guys after you know the she he mentioning the girls he likes more immediately he mentioned um Nelly's name Ruthie would not have it. She wasn't happy about it. And then they went on to ask him to, you know, pick a girl and show his favorites, you know, knocking position. And he went to Ruth, which she declined. He was not like, uh-uh, I don't want to get to do that with you. I'm sure because of the fact that he mentioned Nelly initially and she was mad anyway this morning he, she woke up to telling him that i don't think that this relationship is going to work because we have to go our separate ways you i think you like nelly or blah blah anyway and the mayor Frosch could not even push it he was not like i like you but if this is what you want i don't want to push it to show that he is not even too you know invested in it is the fact that she is just the option he's seen in the house but he would have loved a better thing i don't know these are just my opinion in my head and you guys from the intro i told you guys that biggie might be expecting his first grandson well not be me talking more it's based on what chingwe the zimwe one of the zimwe pair was saying to ruthie in the garden she had a conversation with Ruthie when she was um, getting up to go she said oh i don't know why i am feeling so nauseous and my period is late yeah. <laughs> that it is not just from my mouth you hear it that is what she said and i'm wondering because the other time the last three days or two days back the housemates they actually caught zion and 
and Jim were in the bathroom knocking. It was uh, um, to before that actually found that, and he called the other housemates, and they came to hear the. That means the thing was vibrating the whole building for them to hear, and everybody was laughing. You guess. I was now. I'm now wondering: Is this nauseous feeling? If it is what we are thinking, if it is pregnancy, this that the period is late. Is this nauseous feeling? Is it just happening in the Big Brother Niger house? Because it's just been three weeks since they got into the house, or this is a ta 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 that has been going on in the lockdown, and the result is in, or the results. Are in like, you understand i don't know what what the true nature of this thing is because i'm wondering when did you guys get to do what you do that you're feeling nauseous and your period is late or it might just be the you know the activities of the house they sleep late they eat their their timing are not regulated their body has not regulated or there's some you know discrepancies the, the discrepancies in the way their body is functioning at the moment maybe that's why it is you know delaying her period because of course we knew that this thing also happened to other female housemates like v when she came into the house there was a time where her period was delayed so i think maybe something that usually happens you know when your body system you know cannot regulate you know or cannot you know understand how to function at the moment or the stress that it has been going through it will definitely of course the human body is like that so definitely at some point try to you know adjust or you know try to malfunction a little bit i guess that's the situation of uh, Chinwe. but if that isn't the case <laughs> if that isn't the case i just saw somebody reading that i guess if she's pregnant we should keep her in the house so that it will be too late for she to do anything about it may she burn the bikini because <laughs> people are just so wild with some comments i read it somewhere and I, I just busted into laughter that no they should not evict her they should keep her until the belay one day has gone so the pregnancy has until the pregnancy has gone so far that she cannot terminate it so that they will see the end of you know their actions anyway that's just <laughs> what i came to just you guys do you guys think that chinwen is you know expecting or this is just some malfunction in her body system that is delaying her period what are your thoughts and what do you think about the mayor frosh and Ruthie's ship is it collapsing or sinking let us just know now so that we will know because shippers are not having it shippers don't want to hear that any ship that they are they are sailing with the the the, the, the sailors are capsizing they don't want to hear that leave your thoughts in the comment section thank you so very much for watching my videos please like and subscribe to the channel just join our community please i'm begging you guys Angel, please i'm begging you thanks so very much for watching i'll see you all in my next video